Now we are going to do a fun pose called the locomotive pose. I wonder what is locomotive? That's a big word, huh? It's just a train. It's another word for train. So we need to get our wheels ready. You know how the big wheels go, right? I'm going to sit down, put your feet down, lay down on your mat nicely, slowly, slowly, slowly. Pick one leg up, pick the other leg up, make your one hand ready, the other hand ready. Are you ready? Our train is going to start. Let's go visit some family. Down by the station, early in the morning. See the little cockabellies all in a row. See the station master turn the little handle. Chugga chugga choo choo. Off we go. Do you think we can do it a little faster? Let's try. Okay. One leg up. The other leg up, one hand up, the other hand up. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little cockabellies all in a row. See the station master turn the little handle. Chugga chugga choo choo, off we go. The train ride was so much fun. Did you see someone outside the window from the train? I saw some trees, the birds going by. That was fun, right? Let's try another pose. What would you love to do? Have you ever seen butterflies? Have you gone to the butterfly museum? How they flap their wings? They have those tiny antennas. We will try to do a butterfly pose, okay? Come and sit in the center of your mat. And this is called the sole of your feet. So take the sole of your feet, take the other one and you connect them together. Sometimes you cannot put your knees all the way down. If you are like this, it's okay. No worries. As you get stronger, as your muscles get flexible, you can move down, down, and down. Get your antenna ready. Let's look for something. I want to check if you can get some flowers. What do butterflies love to eat? You think honey? Nectar from the flowers? Or you can put your butterfly wings. Fly both the wings. I'm going to fly away. I'm going to find some flowers. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, here comes a baby butterfly. Baby butterfly. Very tiny, tiny, small wings. And rest. That was fun to be a butterfly, right? Do you think you could be a volcano? Oh my goodness. Volcano here in Arizona? What comes out from the volcano? Right, it's lava. When it's underneath, it's magma. Once it explodes, it turns into lava. Do you know what though? In yoga, a volcano can be anything you want it to be. I'm going to get a volcano explosion of hugs and kisses to all the kids and families of our school. Are you ready? Okay, so you've got to stand up for that. So very gently. Are you ready for this volcano? I'm ready. So the first step is put your hands by the side of your body, feet together. I'm going to say one and I'm going to jump, right? Hands on your chest. One. I'm going to get down, get the magma from the earth and picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. Oh, I'm going to explode. Whoosh. And then we come back. Now I'm going to get hugs and kisses from the volcano. Are you ready? You can get whatever you want. It can be chocolate, candies, or milk. Okay. One. All the hugs and kisses. All the hugs and kisses underneath the earth. I'm shooting it to everyone. Whoosh. 